Composer Dad. Hello, Composer Dad fans. Composer Dad here. I'm sitting with my piano, and I'm playing for you this song. La 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 la. It doesn't have words yet. Uh, today on the podcast, a brand new Composer Dad versus Bible episode. Pretty exciting. This month is Mountain Month. I don't know if you've been following along in the Composer Dad blogosphere, but it's Mountain Month. We're talking mountains all month. So to prep with that, in case Bible comes at me with a intense challenge, I've been just reading about mountain stuff in the Bible. Check this out. Exodus 19, verse 18 to 20. And Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long, da da, and waxed louder and louder, the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mountain. And then Moses went up there. Whoa, big explosion there. That's to get you ready for the Composer Dad vs. Bible podcast. Now, I happen to know that this episode has a duet. Bible challenges Composer Dad to a duet. Do you know what a duet is? That is when two people sing together. I thought we could try that right now, wherever you are. If you're in your car, maybe you could sing along. Um, Here I am, I'm singing right now. I'm singing right now. Now it's your turn. Now you sing. It's a duet. Now we sing together. We go, ooh, ooh, ooh. One more time, maybe harmony. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's a duet. Two people singing together. So watch for that in the episode. And then after the episode, Grandma's going to show up yes. and we're going to unveil yes. yep. the new Tick Check song. It's time for a Tick Check. Very important. If it's Mountain Month, there's going to be hiking. And if there's hiking, there better be Tick Checks. All right, cue the band. <laughs> Builder Boy, Squishy Baby, and I are in the waiting room of my primary care physician. It's time for my annual checkup. They're running behind, and I did not bring snacks or toys. No problem. I say, kids, let's make a game out of memorizing the order of the advertisements on this giant flat screen monitor. We make a game. All right. Motel ad. Then there's car dealer, followed by lawyer, and another lawyer, and finally, fancy restaurant. Then it starts over. Motel ad. Uh, car dealer. Mm. Lawyer. Yep. Lawyer. Fancy restaurant. Motel ad. Car dealer. Lawyer, lawyer, fancy restaurant. Motel ad, car dealer. Lawyer, lawyer, fancy restaurant. Motel ad, car dealer. Lawyer, lawyer, fancy restaurant. Motel ad, car dealer. Lawyer, lawyer, fancy restaurant. Suddenly, a man in the waiting room has a mega sneeze. He tumbles back right into the giant flat screen monitor. It starts to topple. Builder Boy swoops in. He catches the monitor and saves the man from peril. Right. See you. That was a close one. I'm impressed but not surprised at Builder Boy's incredible rescue, but I still have some questions. How did he catch that giant monitor? Did he just transform into a forklift? Before I could figure it out, a nurse calls my name. And I head into the doctor's office. My doctor completes his exam and confirms three things. You have incredible strength. You have a humble heart. You are out of shape. Internalizing this, I take a deep breath. I look out the window at the massive mountain that looms over our small city. No problem. I say, I shall get in shape with the help of that massive mountain. We leave the doctor's office. On the way home, we pick up Professor Mom from the train. Professor Mom. How's class? My students presented scenes from Shakespeare. His words fill my heart with joy. A joy that is made complete by spending time with my family. Professor Mom. On the way home, we reconnect emotionally. And I tell Professor Mom of my plan to get in shape. Gonna get in shape with that mountain. We decide to take a family hike up the mountain. I put Squishy Baby in our trail-tested front pack. And we all put on our special order permethrin-treated hiking clothes. And review our tick safety tips. Kids, stay on the path. Stay out of the brush. As we ascend the mountain, there's a rustle in the bushes. Thousands of ticks scuttle toward us, but they are instantly diverted by the force of our pre-treated clothes. Suddenly, there's another rustle in the bushes. Thousands of millipedes scuttle toward us. 
Don't worry, kids. Millipedes are friendly. It's millipede season, though that is a lot of millipedes. Guess what else we see? It's Bible with another intense compositional challenge for me, Composer Dad. Hello, Bible. We meet again. I say, standing tall. Hello, Composer Dad. I see you are hiking with your family. Yes, the doctor said I need to get in shape, so I'm getting help from this mountain. This reminds me, in Psalm 121, the psalmist writes, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? I want you to quickly set that song to music with just a piano and make it a duet. Goodbye. I knew Bible wasn't far away when all those millipedes started tumbling toward us. That was odd. Also the ticks. Really don't like ticks. No problem, Bible. I say. But Bible was already gone. <laughs> Singing duets is fun. But where are we going to quickly find a piano out here in the woods? Suddenly, a huge tree falls in our path. Phew, that was a close one. I use my mega awesome tree cutting skills to craft a piano from the trees, incorporating metal and wire from a broken down Jeep that was hiding behind the huge tree. We also build a small recording studio with help from some woodland animals. Completing the piano and recording studio, we lift our eyes to the mountain. A duet pours forth from Professor Mom and me. We call it Song of Ascent. the duet, I guess. Thanks, Grandma. Well, some of it seems like sort of an exaggeration, the yeah. whole setup, I mean. Well, it's this, a podcast, you know. you know, there are fun ways to be creative. Oh, preaching to the choir, bucko, I know all about Pod Blast. Right, you had your first one. Yes. How did yes. it go? Grandma's Pod Blast, first episode, in the can, in mm -hmm. the books, in the ears. Yep. 
It's pretty viral. Okay. People have been subscribing a lot, rating. There's also the algorithms. Algorithms. So I'm already working on another one. Cool. Hey, would you could you help me with this next thing I'm going to do? I'm uh, pretty busy. You know, this episode features the whole family climbing up the mountain. And what should you do after every hike? Have ice cream. Yes. And also check for ticks. Ah, ticks. Ticks are the worst. Right. And, you know, it's hard to remember sometimes to do tick checks. Yeah, tell me And about they don't it. seem like a lot of fun until no. now. Huh? All right. I wrote a song to help kids and families remember uh, to check for ticks. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Cue the band. It's time for a tick check. Oh, it's time for a tick check. Follow along while you sing the song. It's time for a tick check. Start at your feet, look between every toe Up to the ankles and around we go Follow me now to the back of your knees The right one, left one, if you please Down the calves and up to our thighs We're looking around with our wide eyes For a tiny little dot that could sit on a pin Find a tick, you win It's time for a tick check Oh, it's time for a tick check Follow along while you sing the song It's time for a tick check Under the undies and on each hip We double check there, then we take a trip Up to the belly button, anybody home Just a little piece of lint, chalk it on the phone Hello. Hop on over to the elbow pits Ride to the shoulders, don't call it quits Throw your hands up in the air Peek under your arms, cause you're well aware It's time for a tick check Oh, it's time for a tick check Follow along while you sing the song It's time for a tick check Hey there friend, will you check my back and my neck and around my ears I'll be doing fine if you look at my hairline If you find a tick, here's what you gotta do Grab a tick key and a tweezers too Carefully remove and put him in a baggie Write the date, now celebrate Cause you're done with your tick check Oh, you're done with your tick check It's not so long when you sing a song You're done with your tick check all right, I hope that's helpful. That's a Tick Check song. Tick check. So you can watch a video of the Tick Check song on the Composer Dad YouTube. YouTube. You can download it on your phone, on Apple Music or Spotify. Spotify. So it's ready to go after the hike. Yeah. All right, that's the show. Parents, please subscribe to the Composer Dad podcast and leave a rating or a review. It really helps people find this podcast, you know, algorithms. Algorithms. See you next time on Composer Dad versus Bible. Bible.